Despite increased anti-smoking campaigns and general awareness of the health hazards of cigarettes, Georgia continues to battle a higher percentage of adult smokers than the national average. Additionally, a 2013 study performed by the Georgia Department of Public Health found that more than 40% of Georgia adults come into contact with secondhand smoke. The invention of electronic cigarettes has further complicated the tobacco-free movement, said Anne-Marie Coleman, the policy program and planning advisor, too, for the department. Unfortunately, there is a myth out there that e-cigarettes are not as dangerous or they can help you quit smoking, period. And so a lot of people are using them as a cessation method. And I definitely want to make clear, electronic cigarettes are not a safe cessation method. And everyone who's using tobacco should instead use the Georgia Tobacco Quit Line and find safe ways for quitting. The Quit Line is a a seven-day-a-week phone line that helps current tobacco users kick the habit. One of the keys to reducing the future population of smokers, Coleman said, is to discourage young people from using tobacco products in the first place. It's important that everyone in the community get involved with this issue. This is not just a public health message. This is a message for parents, for teachers, uh, really everyone in the community at all different sectors. It's imperative that everyone gets involved to create an environment where youth and young adults are not exposed to secondhand smoke, but are also in an environment where it's not being promoted to use tobacco products. Lee Beeson, Graduate Newsroom.